Welcome to our final Holy Week Art Reflection. Today we are reflecting on Holy Saturday. As we did with all our previous videos, we will again look at another artwork while reflecting on the lectionary text for this Holy Saturday and conclude with a meditation by Ian Reid uh, from his book Meditations from the Iona Community. Again, remember to email me if you wish to chat or if you want me to put you on the mailing list for all future um, videos. We do, uh, during this time of COVID lockdown, um, intend to have a weekly reflection. And if you want to receive this, please email me to make sure that I put you on the mailing list. Today's artwork, aiding our reflection for Holy Saturday, is titled Fate. And this is by the artist Boris Annisfield. John chapter 19 verses 38 to 42. After this, Joseph, who was from the town of Arimathea, asked Pilate if he could take Jesus' body. Joseph was a follower of Jesus, but in secret because he was afraid of the Jewish authorities. Pilate told him he could have the body, so Joseph went and took it away. Nicodemus, who at first had gone to see Jesus at night, went with Joseph, taking with him about 30 kilograms of spices, a mixture of myrrh and aloes. The two men took Jesus' body and wrapped it in linen with the spices according to the Jewish custom of preparing a body for burial. There was a garden in the place where Jesus had been put to death, and in there was a new tomb where no one had ever been buried, since it was a day before the Sabbath, and because the tomb was close by, they placed Jesus' body there. Our meditation from the Iona community by Ian Reid for this reflection is titled Two Visions of the Future. The vision of the future, warning and promise. The vision of fear, a warning. Destruction of towns and cities, failure of crops, disease in animals, illness of men and women, lawlessness and violence, collapse of economic order. The content of the picture of fear is the result of the failure of men and women to respond to the love of God and to be open to receive His Spirit. Does this picture correspond with our fears about the future? And then... A vision of hope, a promise, the promised land, a land full of milk and honey. In faith it is possible to believe that the picture of hope is the picture of the end. Men and women can change. The cross was not the end, the resurrection followed. Does this picture correspond with our hope for the future? Both visions are needed. The challenge of warning and the support of promise. Holy Saturday has become a day in Holy Week that we usually just pass over. We just skim over it because we feel that it doesn't really give us much to work with. It is a day in which we are reminded of Jesus' death. But it is a day of suspension. It is a day when we are suspended between the loss of Jesus' life on the cross and the hope of the resurrection. But we have to remember that for Jesus' followers, this Saturday during Holy Week, this Saturday was the day when Jesus was dead. And the way things happened on Good Friday gave them an indication that all their trust, all their energy and their hopes that they put into this carpenter of Nazareth had come to nothing. That he indeed now is dead. That their lives are in peril. And that that is just the end of it. But we mustn't fail to see the other side of this day as well. 
the hope that comes with the promise of the resurrection. This is the last in our series of reflections. And even though tomorrow in spirit we will be celebrating Easter, we will be celebrating the resurrection. We do so also in a suspended reality. Our hearts and our souls rejoice saying, the Lord has risen, indeed he has risen. But our reality is suspended between fear and hope. We remain locked in our houses. We are not able to celebrate this wonderful day with our fellow Christians. And I've often wondered over the last few days, what will the first church services, when we come out of lockdown, what will they be like? What is the liturgy we will follow? I think the best thing we could do as a community of faith is to come together and have an Easter service celebrating that Jesus is truly risen, celebrating that life is always stronger than death and that light will always overcome darkness. But for now, on this Holy Saturday, we remain in silence, suspended between fear and hope. I want to read a poem titled Still by Jan Richardson. And after I read this, I will give you a few moments to pray. Pray for the church, pray for yourself and your family, pray for your loved ones. Or even just to be still, to allow yourself to be suspended between fear and hope. But always knowing that Jesus was resurrected. This day, let all stand still in silence, in sorrow. Sun and moon be still, earth be still. Still the waters, still the wind. Let the ground gape in stunned lamentation. Let it weep as it receives what it thinks it will not give up. Let it groan as it gathers the one who was thought forever still. Time be still. Watch and wait. Still.